it is always a blessed thing to be grateful to God because the level where you are now is actually a level where somebody is wishing to be. It is something that may not have sounded or seemed like a reality to you, but it's something that I have actually experienced, a level that I am right now. I actually saw somebody, in fact, a level that I have actually passed, I have actually seen somebody actually um, wanting to be in that level, planning to be in that level, expecting to be in that level. And um, in this video, God's servant, Prophet Love Elias, actually tells something that happened to him when he woke up um, one morning and then he actually started experiencing something. He also made it clear that this happened around the season that he was having issues with his marriage. I would like to listen to what he said in this video. Please, if you are new to this channel, do not fail to subscribe, click the notification button, and be part of the family. I am telling you this because in 2013, I had to face this guy. 2013, I had to face this guy. I remember... I am serving God and I'm doing everything and everything that could be right is right. Nothing is wrong in my life. One day I just woke up and I realized that I had zero energy, I had zero strength. I'm still praying, but everything has become a struggle. I started wondering, man, what do I need? Do I need vitamins? No, I'm healthy. I'm here. What is going on with me? I could not understand it. I tried to understand it in every way I could. I couldn't understand. Then I started, I, I remember talking to, to, to Mama Onyango and I said, Mama, you know, I'm having struggles, even focusing because I'm just heavy. I'm not a, maybe, do you think Adderall will help me? Do you think I need this? Do you think she said, no, I don't think you. I could not understand. I really thought maybe it was something, I couldn't understand it for months. I was struggling to serve God and I was still serving God because I have never failed in. Listen to me. If there's one thing I am committed to in life is serving God. Amen. I have never missed a Thursday since 2011 unless God has sent me somewhere. I could not understand what was happening. God wasn't telling me anything. I was so confused. In my time of prayer at night, one night I just went to pray. And I said, nah, God, this is a few months, I think maybe even six months late. I tried to fast before nothing was changing. I'm delivering people. I know nothing is inside of me. What is going on? I took time to pray that night and I couldn't really pray I started weeping before God I said Lord I can't see what is destroying me help me to see that I know what I'm dealing with because I see everything else you bring before me why can't I see what is going on with me because I even went to the they took my everything there was nothing Lord what is going on I was weeping before God as, as I was crying before God going through this situation. All of a sudden, my eyes were opened and I saw a spirit. What I'm telling you is the truth before the Lord whom I stand. I saw a spirit sitting on a horse and this spirit looked like, you know, the knights, the English knights. He looked like a knight with an armor, but he was, a, he was on a horse. And he had a big old sword in his hand. And there seemed to be a cloud that followed this spirit wherever he went. And the spirit was standing right in front of me. And the Lord told me, you are fighting heaviness. And when I saw this, I realized that my binding, my thing wasn't working. I started asking myself, what has dried up in my life in this time? Because why am I not able to shake this thing off? I'm binding, I'm rebuking. I did every prayer you can think of. Nothing was changing. But there's something I realized that began to dry up in my life and it dried up dramatically because there was also a lot of family things were going on.
That was the time that my first marriage was also going through a lot of things. Me, I'm open with you. I'll tell you the truth. I realized that my time with God was about helping people. But it was not about me looking at the goodness of God and thanking God because of what he has done with me. I did not see any reason to praise God for me. My escape was serving the people of God, blessing the people of God, seeing the people of God delivered. But me, myself, I forgot the days I would just say, Lord, I am thankful. Lord, I am grateful because all of it dried up because in my personal life, other than my son, there was nothing in me to rejoice for. I thought of this and then I realized my praise was gone. Teacher, the vibes give up.